So you, you're removing all this sphagnum moss yes. from there? So if it's packed, what, what would you do? I would water it thoroughly, and then the fun game become like, usually roots like all wrapped out in, but in the moss, and it's so hard to get the pieces of moss, so you might get the tweezers and like really pick it from between the roots. Is it better or worse too, if it's packed? It, it, it's worse, because then it's not enough air, and it stays wet longer. Heard that guys, so you don't want to really pack it. How do the roots look? Uh, half and half. Oh, half and half. <laughs> there's definitely some dead. There's some okay. And the roots should look plump, right? Yeah, so you see like this one, it's kind of ale roots. So the roots that turn green, those are good roots. Yeah. This one, you see they, they're turning from like cereal color to something. Also, you have to know, like, the, the roots that go into the dark sauce of the pot, so they're not going to be green, they're going to be whitish or yellow. They didn't have a sun, but those one was exposed to the sun, so when you wear them, they turn green. And that's the, how you know, like, when you need to water. If your roots are green, you don't have to water yet. If the roots are silverish, then it's time to water. And do you cut at the base or at the tip? I cut the roots at the base, as close to the base as possible. She cuts it as close to the base as possible. Like, see, those are, those are like, the tip looks bad. You don't cut the tip off, you just cut all the base. So you see how here the root up to this point is good. Yeah. So you want to cut it off, maybe sometimes clean it a little bit. You want to cut all the brown stuff away until clean tissue. At this point it's good to spray probably a peroxide, but I didn't take it with me. Spray it with what? Spray the roots with peroxide, the cut where you're cutting. Spray the roots with peroxide, guys. Look at that leaf. What is that? Is that from overwatering? Can you get a yellow leaf? That's probably sunburn. Oh, sunburn. Sometimes, when you see it like this, so this this is the green, but here is dry, actually the root's still alive. Actual root is this little tiny piece, and around it's a whole element that stores the water. Oh, wow. So you wouldn't cut that? No. Okay. I see the stem is there. Would you cut the stem? No, you wouldn't cut it down, would you? Using, they call it uh, virgin cork. Cork? So it's a tree from what they're using corks for the, you know, wine bottles cork and so for orchids or for reptiles they're using like big pieces they're coming in a smaller pieces or so so we're gonna mount this orchid on the mount can you use just regular wood that you find in the forest or in the trees they, or they bark? not suggest to use something in the forest because that could have all bacteria fungus or anything than the nature so we're gonna put a little bit of moss she's gonna put a little bit of moss underside so it's keep a little bit moist you know not just dry so she's gonna keep it moist and dry that's why you put the moss underneath the orchid No, I'm just trying to put the roots, let's say, in the crevices or so, so it can attach itself and then grow in certain ways. Okay, so she's trying to put the roots in the crevices, so it's nice and secure. Now guys, your orchid will probably be a little smaller than this. This is an old orchid, so it has a lot of roots and the roots are long, so it won't be as complicated. But this, uh, we're watching right now a very old orchid being placed, mounted on cork. As you can see that she's putting it on top of the orchid uh, roots also as well as the bottom and that's all to um, 
keep moisture inside. And then I can I can even put yeah. 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 Yeah.
those arrow roots usually are dying off because they're not get used to, to grow in that conditions. So what we're saying when you're repotting, you want to match the new potting media in exactly what it used to be, otherwise the roots might die off. Or you repot when the new roots just starting to grow, then they're going to be adjusted to the growth medium that you're potting in. Just ask about air roots, guys. Or she should leave it in or outside the pot. She's making the hook, guys. Yeah. Like, like so, so you can hang it. I mean, do you want a longer hook or? Uh, you, can always, you can always right. redo Perfect. it. Awesome. You can always put some fish wire on it. Yeah. <laughs> can you cut off the earlier levels? Start over? Yes. Do you want to bring it here? Air roots, are you supposed to cut them or not? No. no. Don't cut but the what you should have do, because it's arrow roots, if you're going to put it in the pot, there is the chance that they might die off. Because they're not get you used to live in that environment that you're going to put them in. So what I would suggest you, when you retire to stay home, you have plenty of time, you don't have any other clubs that you go or anything. Well, what should I do? Uh, she's gonna cut it's going to scary. Right it's gonna no, what it's, I have a suggestion. Oh, wow. So we remove the kiki. Separated. So basically we can wrap it around and put it in a pot, but like I mentioned, right, it's not going to do well. Or you sometimes, he has the mouth, but it's kind like of Like the glass balls? Like I bought this one that he said you could just put in a yeah, glass you ball. Just, you spray it or something. You can do that, but what you can do sometimes, I'm not suggesting you, but what you could do, like you can put it on the bar or any other like medium, right? So you, you're gonna attach like this, put a little bit of moss, and time to time, mostly like a daily, you're gonna spray the roots. And then it's gonna have like a natural way how it's growing in the nature. Someone that knows nothing about orchids, what do you suggest? <laughs> yeah, for somebody that knows nothing about orchids, what do you suggest? If you just repot it and the roots already was in the medium, I would suggest repot. This one, because it grew outside in the air, if I put aerial roots inside the medium and it's not going to have this much air, they might not die. So that would be the best thing? That would be my death probably. So what sometimes people do, you can put it on the top of that. Just like oh, that. see what she's doing guys? She's and we're going to put some more around the roots and just wrap it with fishing line, but then you also will have to like spray them. Uh, this root, unfortunately, so there's two fresh roots coming, but they all pointing up. So they're gonna go in the air and not inside the air. So it's up to you how expensive the orchid was. The orchids weren't expensive, but so I mean, these are supermarket orchids. So how about, we, we can try to put them in a clay pot with the moss. And, and water it every day? No. no. We're not going to put outside, we're going to put inside, but with the moss. And then you, like, it's going to have more air or so. But if it's, if the roots kind of die, then it's done. Yeah. And the new supposed to be coming. The, the new, the, the new that's going to grow, they will be growing into the medium and should be fine. Can I Yes and no. You have to sterilize to make sure there is no other bug and the wood is good. A lot of a lot of orchid people they they have a they have like a cedar planks. Cedar, cedar, yes. Cedar planks. So you can do planks like that. You can buy in a Home Depot below, cut to the piece, and you can stick it to that. The reason why we're watering it is to make sure that the roots not breaking while we're gonna apply them together. So when they wet, you can like, you know, like wrap them around and they soft. So she's watering it so it can be more manageable, so it doesn't break when she's putting it in a pot. And we're gonna put it aside so it's gonna get to whatever it needs to do and we're gonna take care of this part. And this is the mother plant. Oh, you can see all that. Are you gonna cut the roots? Are you gonna get rid of all uh, that? I will cut definitely some of the roots. 
Yeah, it was just. You can keep it if you want. So right now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna remove all the old moss around from there. Did somebody already repot it for you before? Mm -hmm. Did somebody repot it before? Uh, no. No. Because usually when you're buying like orchid from the store, the moss is so packed, and this feels like it was done by somebody. Maybe I did. Before. I don't know. Truthfully, maybe I brought it to the florist one time. So you, you're removing all the sphagnum moss yes. from there? Sometimes it helps prevent the moss, but this one is not packed really like hard, so it's easy to remove. So if it's packed, what, what would you do? I would water it thoroughly, and then the fun game become like usually roots like all wrapped out in, about, in the moss and it's so hard to get the pieces of moss so you might get the tweezers and like really pick it from between the roots. Yeah. Is oh, it better or worse too, if it's packed? It, it, it's worse because then it's not enough air and it stays wet longer 